Mm-hmm. So for me, Siko I never knew, I never cared about a DJ, you know. Yeah. So there was this time I was at a party, uh, ilikuwa DJ Styles na pinye maze wa meroga, yani the what's on show motivation ilikuwa nga madem. Of so course, really, of course. Me, I saw how the show is <laughs> behaving, you know. I mean, to the DJ, they always the DJ over there. They always near that yeah, booth. Near that guy. I'm like, mm-hmm. you know what? I want to be that guy. Oh wow. So for me I got into DJing honestly for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You know me I wanted you know, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um it, it made me like it was a bit exciting. Yeah. So I just started learning and the best part about it is um I did computer science. So it was very easy to understand how the system the software is, you know. Yeah. And for me I took it a notch higher like I used to have you know crazy access to internet had the latest music you know so when i started you know i taught myself how to dj really i taught myself how to dj yeah so with time i i, I mean i got lucky enough i met a friend called jeff mm-hmm. and jeff works at a place called dimples in akuru because yeah. i was at kabarak university mm-hmm. yeah so i told this guy oh mazimi nataka kuwa dj akaniangalia nimeva ma glasses yani this guy you look like mean? a nerd yeah <laughs> nimeva ka shati <laughs> ma timba ma timbalands yeah. zilikuwa nga fake zilikuwa zinaitwa simbaland your time <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. So uh-huh. the guy I'm so glad that Jeff actually gave me the chance. You know, he told me, "Yo, get me a mix uh, next week and come through." Um mm-hmm. luckily because of my knowledge in computer in computers, I just went cut it up on software. I took it to this guy he'd never had anything like that. He's like, "How did you do it?" I'm like, "I'm as going to practice to So, a uh, guy got me on rotation in a club and that's how my my career started, but that was before graduation. Yeah. After graduation graduating I did I worked for a year as a network administrator. Mimi kwa ngumu sio kufunga hizo makamba. You know it was cables yeah, and all that. Yeah, networking stuff. and stuff. Networking, yeah. So yeah. I did that for a long time but at the same time I still was maintaining my gig at Dimples over the weekend. Mm-hmm. So over the weekends na travel na kuru na rodinai no, no. so it got to a point i was like you know what do i really need to do this yeah. like especially an office job first of all ni kongali to come every time <laughs> i never used to enjoy it i just need kona shinda twinki monday una ingia na hangover na hangover yeah. no, no. so it was i was like this is not for me and i quit i remember i just wrote my employer uh, a text and kwambia i i don't think this oh, is wow. for me oh wow classic oh, but text a text there yeah. <laughs> People don't try that. Don't, don't try, try that with that. your bosses. No, no. It won't fly this day and age. But unajua nilikuwa nimechoka yani. Alikuwa mwindi alikuwa ananisomea every time. George you always a late comer. <laughs> every time, man, you know. Yeah. So for me, I was like that is not what I want to do and I just got into DJing. Luckily, I got uh, I met a guy called DJ Styles. Yeah. Again, I wa- so he was the first guy I saw DJ. Yeah. Then I actually took a video mix to him and I'm like, "Yo, just play this stuff." He's like, "Yo, come through." So started video mixing back in the days i think 2008 and my career just blew off after that and i'm grateful oh, wow. yeah, so it's actually a long story name yeah of course nice. um <laughs> <laughs> so how was how how did your parents react to that like my friend nimekupeleka kabarak kabarak is not too bob yes, it was yeah expensive. it's so expensive and then <laughs> yeah. you come you tell me you want to become a yeah. dj um how was that do you know let me tell you in the i think the craziest part Um, my dad she dak at at equal to your stories at chapa mhm any youth any church leader no <laughs> scam <laughs> they were kanisa yeah so i can they, imagine they, 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 they yeah. you can imagine them women they raise up you know a christian way i can tell the guy that unataka kwa dj you know my folks i mean i'm i'm kikuyu so my dad is like oreda koko roa dj My mom told me to kneel down when you ombea ni mazee. So you guys it was true story. Then <laughs> my papers ili kemeo eh. You know, but uh, I told my mom, let me just do what I love and yeah. I'm I'm grateful like I have amazing parents. Mm-hmm. Um despite the fact that of course they, I think when he's kaka kitu but yeah. you know my dad supported me he bought my first DJ equipment oh, you know bless their heart yeah but you need die baka season and mbekumbuka ni kuno deke yako ya kwanza yeah you know uh, they, they, my parents have been supportive you yeah. know uh, my mom my dad especially mm-hmm. so they just gave me they told me go for it you know then they saw me on tv everything changed and everything changed and everything they're like changed, yeah that's you know? my son like. <laughs> yeah. so i i got lucky enough to do i did sakata i mean mm-hmm. i was a host uh, on citizen tv then yeah. um then gigs started coming up and my folks wakakubali too yeah. yeah when they saw the comfortable life you're living y- yes and uh, shida inakuanga tu usiteseke that is us- it i think yeah, i think that's the problem yeah, with our basically. parents but yeah. again always still um uh, even as a parent i always advise people let your kids be let them do whatever makes their hearts happy yeah yeah that's great that's fantastic um wow let me ask you from when you were when you started djing to what djs are doing this day and age yeah. has there been such a big uh 
change in the industry and the scene, uh, basically i don't think they, I, i don't think they has been really because you see the art is the same yeah. um interestingly enough what dj's are doing now i used to do it 12 10 15 years ago yeah. you know in terms of video mix I used to raise a matatu mm. I, i used to be that guy baby so i used to oh be, you're the one who you started you, me, you guys are i did just before kalonje okay. because i used to do a mixes for matatus then i get guys to advertise yeah. on my on on my on the tv platform and that's how i used to pay my rent mm-hmm. you know so nimefanya vitu more bani so nothing has changed much really i think what has changed is the taste of music and music. access Okay. really because you know of course internet now and then is very different you know so right now people access m- music better uh, um you know even uh, the consumer mm-hmm. understanding of music per se it may change kitambo maze kabla tuende ukisikia tunaenda gig place kana kuru lazima uta call dj three days before umwambie maze nataka kucheza hizi mangoma you know because okay. you really know wazipange in advance yeah you know? but right now there is amazing radio there is amazing internet so that is the only thing that has changed but basically for the art yeah. say Okay, let's move away from um DJing. Um you mentioned that you have um moved into the apparel industry. Yes. Um so maybe you can take us through what is it that uh, you're doing now? What I'm doing right now, I have a label called Esco. 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 Yes. So Esco Life. Esco Life. We yeah. have uh we deal with everything apparel and I'm talking about I'm talking about hoodies, t-shirts, tracksuits, uh capes, beanie hats, just the vibe, mm-hmm. you know. So when we started Esco, I started Esco Life say two years ago. and my intention was just i love color i love art and you know i told myself you know let me just go out there and share my you know uh, my love for art with the people yeah. so if you guys check out our page we have a page on instagram esco life clothing mm-hmm. uh has the vibes we have over i think 10 designs i mean it's colorful amazing stuff so amazing i've, I've seen so, the hoodies they are so you. dope i actually brought you something baby and i know number two no no sham is free you know fingers crossed there yeah. i hope it will we love gifts we love Fuck, we love you and, uh, oh. are we kidding you know cost uko wapi thank you very much thank you very much thank you thank you my baba bag peke mhm Oh sorry this is a new print called the Michelangelo print so this is what we are pushing and uh, it's amazing stuff a long story about this guy but that's a story for another day yeah <laughs> but thank you so much we love gifts a wiki day umeona gift yako uko wapi can i wear mine right now <laughs> right now <laughs> you don't waste time i don't want to waste time it does it does yeah. thank yeah. you very much amazing stuff that you're doing um, Thank you. we we are we are hoping to see it you know blow up it will um, and uh, i tell guys eh, says you know um it's time to buy kenya and promote kenya because true. honestly speaking the reason the reason why someone wears maybe supreme or nike or mm-hmm. it's nothing different really because Very we still use the same garments yeah. you know probably um it's just the brand you know exactly. so if guys can go out there own you know and be proud about a kenyan brand and yeah. esco life is amazing stuff it's a really. kenyan brand yeah. made by kenya for yeah, kenyans, for kenyans we are very proud yeah. of you so very, soon you're going to see it on the top in fact joe boy r- r- wore it the other day awesome. he is wearing that you know uh, i have my boy called i am wild fields from nigeria is rocking that oh wow so check it out soon. it's doing big it's it's going get, it's going to get big it's going to get big <laughs> um thank you guys for your comments i can see you hey hey moto 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 hey, comments to me fire fire now on apple caroline is asking how does he juggle between being a family guy a dj and of course having a clothing line <laughs> yeah uh wow i get that question a lot hi caroline atieno what's up um it's never easy because you see um every bit of these elements need your time you know yeah. your family needs time your your hustle as a dj needs time your True. clothing line company needs time and i also have uh, a group of djs that i mentor mm-hmm. and you know bring up a co- we i call them gang esco you know yeah. so the only way you can divide your time is just managing your time really i think you can make time for everything you have 24 hours really mm-hmm. so it's just about planning really and and personally i'm not the best planner really yeah. but i just try make sure that i have sorted and have given attention to every part individually of course mm-hmm. you have to multitask a lot. you have to you have yeah there's so many times any i'm on the phone with clients my daughter zawadi is you know giving me a hell <laughs> of a time your case. Case. yeah she was daddy and get my attention as yeah, well my wife as well give yeah, attention you yeah. know 
So, and that time my wife is going to complain that I'm giving attention to my daughter. Exactly. It's tricky. It's a, bal- it's a very <laughs> tricky balance, yeah? It's a tricky balance. But, but all in all, have a support. You have to have a supportive family. You know, yeah. people who understand what you're up to, uh, what, what passion is. Because for me, that is my life. And I'm grateful that I have a wife who understands and kids who really, you know, who push me to be better. Awesome. Yeah. Um, Michael Black, spoken word, yeah. A wiki day kochini, a liquachini, by the way. Uh, but good stuff, Unoeza, cram exam. All right. <laughs> Ian is, is saying one of my best DJs. Thank you, Ian. Big shout out. Oh, wow. Ukonama fans, uh, my favorite DJ, Cram. Thank you, Eunice. Eunice, thank you. Much love to you. <laughs> yeah, sending so much love. Thank you so much, guys, for keep those comments coming, keep um, sharing this video, um, telling people. That we are live. Tell a friend. I normally say, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that we are live on E underscore Square TV, Pala YouTube. Um, and when we finish, you can always um, get this video uh, uploaded on our site. So when the Pala, you flock that 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 site. Uh, before I let you go, um, we ha- we have been having a uh, conversation about cyber cyber security. That has been the umbrella topic for this month because October is. Cyber Security Awareness Month. I did not know that. Now you know. <laughs> <laughs> now you know. Thank you. That is why we invite people. I like that. If you don't know something, you like you leave this platform when you've learned awesome. something new. Awesome. Um, and um, I, I think you already know where I'm going with this. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm still gonna ask. Uh, we ha- we recently, not recently, that was a while back. Um, there was a there was some story on the internet that broke the internet for a while. Um, you talking about who? Where, where? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, I always listen to this story like it's the I know, first time. Like you're like, yo, we are still <laughs> on are you this. About? Anyway, we're yeah. not going to give it much thought, but, no, no um, pressure, it's cool. but I'm sure our audience, they know what, what I'm talking yeah. about. So, first and foremost, yeah. how was that tape leaked? <laughs> um, was, was your system compromised? Was, did someone hack you? Or how, 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 how was it leaked? Uh, I, actually, I rarely talk about it, though, but. Yeah. Um, it's nice that you guys are really dealing with the issue of cybersecurity because yeah. we really, and something I tell a lot of DJs and, and people, everyone basically, mm-hmm. your data is not safe on your phone when you delete it. Yeah. You know, it basically for those guys who maybe understand computers, is like anytime you delete something from your phone off your laptop, it just goes to a virtual trash bin somewhere too early. Yeah, it got but to But ideally, somewhere. it's mm-hmm. not deleted, you know. Yeah. So, um, a weird story happened. I'll tell you the craziest thing. It's like in a movie. Watch anyone. It's your burning story. <laughs> okay. So you heard it here first. When I imagine you a phone call, you know, check your Gmail. I've sent you something. I'm going to password. So you're like, what the hell is this, right? Yeah. Just get silence. Going room went quiet. You know, <laughs> yeah. So go to my Gmail. Um, enter the same same password. You know the instructions. Mm-hmm. You know, you know um, the way the image just downloads itself. I'm like, that looks like. That looks like me, you know what I mean? <laughs> wow, Yo, yeah. And I'll be very honest, these are things we did, like, say, 10, it's been a minute. Um, you know, I was yeah. a young kid, you know, back mm-hmm. then. So these are the things you honestly, you at all come to That Zico, exactly. And, you know, so I asked myself, what the hell, you know? So weird enough, um, this guy who, we, we, we talked a lot, mm-hmm. because he's got, you know what, um, I'm going to put out this, I mean, I'm going to put it out there. But so the person who sent you? Yes. Call oh, me again. Okay. And actually told me this is a deal. Um, I need 20,000 US dollars. So that's oh, wow. 2 million bob. That's crazy. Wow. Right? Yeah. Uh-huh. But they, so I, you know, weird enough, in the, you see the things in the movies happening yeah. about blackmail. I that know. That shit is real. I will not lie to you, man. You know? So you can imagine, I knew about the tape two years before it, three years actually before it came out. Oh, so, so he had been calling you. So three years of you pay, of course. Naturally, you want to protect your family, you yeah. want to protect your name and all that yeah. stuff. So you pay chums, you pay chums. So I paid a lot of money, really, like um, a lot of money, by the way. Oh, God. You know? yeah. Then it gets to a point you're like, fuck it, why am I doing this? Mm-hmm. You know? So it became crazy. And I'll tell people the weirdest thing. You see in the movies, the way you talk to this guy who's blackmailing you. Yeah. Then with the time, this guy becomes, I can't even tell you because weird enough, this guy would give me weird advice. <laughs> You moved from blackmail to eh, hey, you know, like, like, like we, we exchange notes. Yes, I don't tell guys this, story, <laughs> but you know it's a lot. Now, I can, honestly, I'm comfortable enough to talk about it. Yeah. But interestingly enough, 
there is a bad side to it but the good side about it is umse randomly akaniambia as a cream why don't you think about producing music i swear now if you don't understand what production is because he's a smart guy that's what i came to understand so if you don't understand production is i'll do for you some research yeah guy when goes a uh, does research who's a producer what you should do um get the young artist out there you're a big dj you have the vibes you have nini you have the name you have the brand and so you ended up producing kufaju by the way you know um so it was just oh, so there was a stuff. silver lining on it, it's only stuff <laughs> you know there was really. a silver yeah. lining in that story so you know those guys who tell you um i think try um what else did he tell me he wanted me to do this um edm thing whereby like i traveled to amsterdam a while ago yeah. and this dj is akina martin gary uh, avici rest in peace mm-hmm. you know these guys their and shows they have crazy right, you know crazy they get to give us such suggestions so unaona weirdly now unim say hata kama ilikuwa na blanda you look there's a good part about it you know mm-hmm. but let me tell you the shocker now true story this guy later on tells me um but they have a reason why i did what i did Mm-hmm. So he needed a proposal with it some crazy stuff you wouldn't even believe. This guy who hacked my system yeah um had a project mm-hmm. and he needed chums. Yeah. So cuz I gave the guy over 600,000 for oh, it's a wow, lot. Oh wow, that's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, roughly that's a, that's lot, of a money. lot of money. You know, so he's like I made a pitch randomly he called me I did a pitch my job got uh, accepted you know I am just so grateful one day I'm going to give you that money. I just hope it does 600 is a lot of tubes that's a lot of tubes you know, wherever yeah. you were listening to personally Ooh. i don't have hard feelings yeah. um you know at the end of the day it 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 really put me in a bad light out there because yeah. you know everyone has skeletons you know like real talk yeah, yeah. and at true. the end of the day no one wants their personal stuff to be seen i realize i have folks I and have you have kids, family and, yeah, yeah. And the thing that's stressing me right now is there's a future my kid is a genius in computers he will start he will all that Exactly. You know what I mean? So it's still going to the digital gonna footprint me. is still there. So Exactly. So what you did it actually messed me up in terms of my it was not the easiest of times, you mm-hmm. know. But I'm grateful that I have a supportive family. Yeah. I have a supportive wife. By the, oh sorry, I have a supportive wife mm-hmm. um uh and my fans really they really held me down. I'll yeah. be very honest because a lot of guys would judge a lot of guys were like ah Prima and you were geeks. trolled so much trolled. on the internet. The best part about it is I have an amazing team as well because what my team did the first time that thing came out mm-hmm. they locked me out of all accounts so oh, till so today don't i give, don't know you don't give them I, yeah i don't even know you don't fit the story about. yeah not even yeah because i had interviews from the sun magazine imagine british oh, bbc wow. on my on my on my email on my email but yeah. for me i'm glad that my team locked me out so i could not read stuff because honestly if i think if i went out there and read that stuff mm-hmm, mm-hmm. maybe i would not have the strength to stand here yeah but again um now that actually sorry we really diverted from the topic But now that we're talking about cyber security mm-hmm. that shit is real. And, and actually important. hacking is what we are talking about. We have yeah. a we have an expert in studio. Um I hope you'll get time to watch it and yes. figure out how you can protect yourself, protect yes. your data, protect yes. even um your machines from, you know, such kind of incidences yeah. from happening because whoa, that that was, guys, a, that was a that was a right. Don't record that shit. <laughs> Yeah, and it just because it's just to cyber security really need taking care of data just don't record that stuff you know um cuz some day someone is gonna you know some day someone is gonna find it yeah. i was young and crazy then you know so many the, especially the youth right mm-hmm. we do a lot of things knowing that ah mazi yolo you know that yeah, yolo, no, yolo. yeah exactly yolo is a lie yeah, you only we... live once <laughs> on, man cuz you'll do something the next day is gonna hit you ass and it's gonna impact the generation yes. after you not yes. just you Um keep those conversations uh, flowing. I can see um how Rebecca is asking how do you stay on top of your game as a DJ considering that we have DJs coming up every day. Great question Rebecca. Wow. Um Rebecca thank you so much for that. But I think um a lesson that I tell everybody not only in the field of DJing you as a host uh, the videographer as you have to reinvent yourself every day. True. Because at the end of the day there are kids who are coming out there And let me tell you what they have that you don't have they have the passion the hunger that you had back in the days yeah. and they have the time you and know the energy. and the energy thank yes, you right now we, we have our time is divided into so many other things you yeah. know but personally what i do is i really reinvent myself i'm doing um, and, and and i always hang out with the young kids by the way mm-hmm. my my I have a young crew kevin steve you know young guys who keep me you know in check but at the end of the day you as uh, as as someone out there you always have to don't be complacent yeah. don't be comfortable mm-hmm. always Yeah, and get out of your comfort zone really mm. the problem with so many people is they fade away because they're just doing the same thing over and over again they don't want to try 
they don't want to get hurt they don't want to get their hands dirty you know yeah. so for me i just they don't want to get tired exactly yeah. yeah so i keep on reinventing myself yeah awesome um King Difa and as a cream de la cream my top dj wow. shout out <laughs> thank you um Rebecca is saying Felix oh <laughs> all right uh Felix is saying de la cream i feel you very inspiring i once found myself in an adult size <laughs> and i <don't... laughs> yo i love i love your comments you guys um de la cream i feel you very inspiring i once found myself in an adult size and i don't remember recording it and the funny thing is that it has a lot of views, views. and i can eh? so she dark it has a part <laughs> <I> do <laughs> <laughs> Felix, so you go and find your new new kwa hizo sites. You go and find your new. Me think Felix by the amazing stuff. I mean ni bamba kwa sababu shida yake hata si atijua kwa hiyo site. Ni pesa. Iko na two view na hapati hiyo pesa. So anachezo hapo hivyo ndio. Look for that money hey, wherever hey, it hey. is. Uh-huh. Ama the, the the data analyst guy, the guy who's coming. Yeah. I think he'll, he'll, he'll be able to answer that. <laughs> Caroline is saying after the ordeal does he ever get oh do you ever scared, get scared it may happen to you again and what is what are you doing to avoid being placed in such a state ever I think you've answered that Yes I have. just don't record that stuff don't do that yeah Yeah um I feel good um getting that on my Must be the we don't we're not judging Fungo roho Felix Fungo roho Uh being placed okay sorry Diana and Corita is saying thank you Diana Thank you Um great conversation. Becky is saying, "Wow, I'm sorry um you went through all that and we, eh? what are some of the lessons that he can pass to the younger generation based on that experience?" I think something I'd say about that is just, you know, um your law, you only live once. I said it is a yeah, lie, you yeah, know. So always that. do something today knowing that at the end of the day, number one they, they, you talked about digital footprints here yeah? yeah. and and do something that you're going to be proud of yourself. if you look back 20 years from now True. yeah that's as much as i can say okay um we could and say my cream corner do na na ni humble kushinda wili pot we could no kogeri at you my alan is saying great conversation thank you alan diana is saying king lovely as always got thank you very much diana thank, thank you. you very much um thank you so much for coming uh, before i let you go yes. uh, top of the head what uh maybe two things that you have never shared with with anyone or in an interview that we you would like people First to know First of all that is you see that story I've given you yeah. I have never given it anyone by the way true story Yay. so you begin my call to gonna to gonna to gonna bragging rights to this story yo uh, uh, gafla kujeni scoop kujeni scoop we have the tea wow so um something of um wow um something I've never shared Yeah, something you like people to know that is totally random about okay. you that you never shared. I'm afraid of darkness by the way. Okay, so. Isoni vitu tuli acha tuko ato ibanda. Mwaka sisi mazimi kama nikienda kwa hotel nitaangalia chini ya bed but Yo, you, you okay, watch right? too many movies. You watch too many movies. <laughs> Wait, that's a true story. I know guys, you don't take me say about I'm for real. But you fear darkness. Hey, okay and I think that's a very great note to this this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much Prem, really for um coming to the show. Awesome. We love the good vibes. We are so sorry guys. Anyone who was waiting to listen to his DJ set, oh I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. The, 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 I don't know whether the the decks are working now. But something maybe a, a, you know um and I've been seeing like you know Islands you guys um of course there's so much talent yeah. in here just before I I I, I go Um I was having a conversation with, uh, a week ago before and he asked me a very important question in terms of location and a TA Nico Islando how do I you know how do I put myself out there Yeah Mimi wambia wase mazi mimi nimetoka Kericho yani huko ni Ocha unazoa at least this land iko karibu iko Nairobi umeshika yeah. mm-hmm. but again never have um the term location you know embedded anywhere in as you hustle you know mm-hmm. because it doesn't matter where you come from it doesn't matter where you are what happens is what's in you you know what i mean yeah. because if you have greatness in you trust me hakuna kitu inaweza ku stop and i'm talking i'm talking i'm talking about distance can't stop you people can't stop you and all that stuff you know yeah. so island has a lot of talent really it and does. i've had a chance like i've listened to rama i mean i've seen what you guys are doing here and honestly i am so humble and i'm so encouraged because um you realize that <clears throat> we have 
personally the guys who are up there yeah. have a bigger responsibility to help to educate to, to share and to nurture talent you know True. so i i work with um, a lot of artists you know uh, so those guys who are out there if you know you're out there and you can vibe maze tunaweza chapa job you know um now what letter is squared what letter is squared yeah, they can, share their vibes they share, exactly so exactly. for me if you are out there and you know you have talent whatever case i talk to everybody really yeah. so i'd be honestly glad to help in whatever way i can mm-hmm. and keep on doing the amazing work Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are so humbled. We are really really humbled and we we loved the energy, the positivity you. that you brought to the show. Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing and all the best with um Escola. Awesome. Yeah. And you too and take care of yourself. I got to run I have an event. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, um you have heard it from the king of the decks. Uh Wow, amazing conversation. I hope you guys have learned one a thing or two about um that you didn't know about Creme de la Creme. We have told you this show we want to do things differently. We want to bring to you amazing people who uh share their stories to inspire, not just to entertain you, to inspire you. 